Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm going to be working on a card. I'm actually going to be doing a Mother's Day card. I don't know when you will see this based on, it might actually be after Mother's Day that you see this, but I got, I found a new local shop to me called Stamper's Alley in Mooresville, North Carolina. There was a girl in there named Danny and she was awesome she was so lovely and she talked to me about all the different products they had it actually gave me this idea for the card i'm going to use so i just want to make sure and give her full credit um because this was not my idea so this bag has all the things i bought there and i'm not going to use all of these but i got these cool little watercolor panels which will make for really easy other other cards but that's not what i'm going to use today I got these um, foam squares in black, two different sizes, which I am going to use today. I picked up this cuddle bug, um, the cutting board for my cuddle bug, because I, I inherited from a friend, gave me a cuddle bug, this little green thing here. And um, I wanted to do some die cutting on it, but you have to have this other plate to do it. So I'm excited to have found that. And then this is actually what I'm going to be using for my Mother's Day card. So I hope you guys can see these beautiful stamps. I'm really just going to be using this as a card. And But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two, and I'm going to cut out some of these flowers and make them as like a three-dimensional element on top of this sticker. So I'm actually going to be using two of them to make one card. That's why I bought two packs. Um, and these are Stickeroos. Um, brand so or penny this is penny black down here but stickeroos so I'm excited to give this a try I'm not going to talk through this whole thing um, because I just can't concentrate when I do that <laughs> and I need to focus on what I'm doing um, so I'll probably either set it to music but come back and do a bit of a voiceover to kind of explain some of the bits and pieces that I'm doing I've picked out a bunch of background like or scrapbook paper that I'm gonna have to like you know figure out what I want to put the card on like these are just some beautiful packs this also came from a friend so thank you to Susan for all of this I picked up just this simple ivory because that might just look good on a simple ivory so I got that one and then I also grabbed these paper 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 right um, this one I saw and because oh it's got blue on it whoops I thought maybe I could put it on that if I wanted to. It, you know, blends a little bit on there. Might be a little too much pink. And then, oh, I just realized I'm like maybe off the camera. Here we go. Um, it might be a little too much pink. And I hope I've got my settings a little bit different to try to make it brighter. And I, I'm afraid sometimes it gets a little too bright, so it gets washed out. These two packs of paper... I just, I grabbed them. Oh, I forgot I have that one. I don't think that's going to give me the look I'm going for. No, I don't think we'll be using that one. I just grabbed these because they have a couple of sheets in them that are sort of plain or a simple, you know, background. Um, but I'm going to have to figure out what I want to use here. The blue is kind of cool. And the ombre effect is kind of cool. So yeah, um, anyway, so I'm going to let you guys watch, <clears throat> and I might speed up some of this, but that's what we're doing today, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product at the end. Okay guys, so I am going to attempt to do a bit of a voiceover here. Um, so of course I'm still going through and picking out the paper. Um, it took me forever to try to decide what I liked, but I ended up going with um, one of these little polka dot ones. Yep, yeah, there you go. So I thought this would turn out well. And again, I'm making two... Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I can't tell. It's like really late. I'm actually making two cards. Um, so you'll see the first one and then the second one. So now here, I do not have the dimensions right here while I'm doing this voiceover, so I will try to go grab those and pop them in for you guys um, down at the bottom, but I really just eyeballed it. I had these little envelopes. They're just like invitation, colorful invitation envelopes. I've had them in my, you know, my mail stash of envelopes forever, 
and I just really took the envelope and then used that as my measurements and cut down my paper to be like slightly smaller than the envelope so that I knew it would fit. So, you know, when I watch other people do cards, they already know like the dimensions and everything and it's just very straightforward. So I need to sit down and just make sure I know what I'm doing in terms of the sizing and the measurements that way it, it's more straightforward for me because everything that I cut I was cutting with like eyeballing it the same for this is going to be an outer layer um, just to add a little bit of something solid like a mat to go on top of that um, pattern paper and again I was just eyeballing it and making it slightly smaller than the previous option so and I would just wanted to say you saw me fold those in half so I'm just gonna do it like that a bifold card um, I use my fingers. You could always use a bone folder. Wait, a bone. Is that what it's called? Oh my goodness. Hmm. The things that you rub across it to make sure that your spine is crisp. I think it's a bone. Something bone. Anyway, you could always use that, but my thumb worked fine, so I just rubbed my fingers along it to make that a crisp line, but, um, I'm still working through getting my craft room organized since our move, um, so I still don't have all of my tools at my, you know, as ready as I would like them to be. So, so anyway, here I, I went ahead and cut out for both cards, so that's why there's two papers there. I'm only going to use one right now. So I'm opening this up and just verifying that it's going to fit on the card, and of course it is. Go ahead and stick that on. And I need to double check the brand behind these stickers because they are just gorgeous. And they're, it's hard for me to describe the material, but they're just a really nice feeling sticker. Kind of like a vinyl maybe. Um, but yeah, I need to look into that brand of stickers some more because I had never heard of it before. And here I'm just double checking what my second card is going to be because for a moment I forgot that I was going to be using two stickers to make one card. And so all along, I was expecting to make two cards that looked exactly the same. And it dawned on me here that I was like, wait a minute, I can't do that. I'm actually going to have to do two different looking cards. <laughs> so anyway. So here we're going to take the same picture from what we just stuck down. And I just wanted to tr to cut out the petals. Um, or the, yeah, the, the petals of the flowers. And I'm going to make those my... Um, three-dimensional effect. Okay, so now I have laid down the two pieces that I cut out on top of the base sticker and I'm pulling out these foam stickers to decide what I want to use for the back. And I think I used like two or three on this big one, and then maybe I used the small ones on the second one. So two big ones here, and then you, so you just stick those on and peel off the backing, and then it's ready to stick down onto the flower. Now, I didn't pay attention to these when I first got them um, as far as what their thickness is, but I will go ahead and tell you that I definitely prefer for this to be thicker, um, like stand out more. So if I did this again, I would definitely use a thicker foam. So you might want to consider using a thicker foam if you choose to do this um, project. Um, you'll see me in the second card. I actually, well actually, you might not see it because I think my camera cut off. But in the second card that I make, I actually doubled up on the foam. So I stuck them down and then I stuck some more right on top of those. And then I stuck it down on the card. And I actually like that a lot better. So... Here I am just sticking down the second petal, and it still gave it a really nice effect. Um, it was really pretty. It's kind of maybe hard to see here, but it was really pretty in person, and I really like this idea because it's really easy. Okay, and then the last piece I needed to do is figure out how to add a sentiment to the card. Um, I don't have any stamps or anything that say Happy Mother's Day or else I would probably have stamped it, um, but I thought... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm trying to get more comfortable with my handwriting, so I thought I might just write it, and so um, I didn't show it to you here, but I went back and forth on what kind of paper to actually use. I ended up going with the back, the base of the card um, material because, I don't know, I thought it kind of pulled it all together, so 
Um, here I'm practicing on a small sheet of the ivory just to kind of get comfortable with what I'm trying to write and then I went ahead and was checking that one to see if I might want to use it on the card but I really didn't. Um, so then I went ahead and wrote on this, this strip of paper that matches the card base. And my trick for kind of helping to make write, handwriting stand out or look a little more fancy is just to go back through it and emphasize all of the downstrokes. And so that's what I'm doing here. All right, and so here I've, I normally would use an adhesive roller and I will try to link down below products that I would normally use and also the products you're seeing me use here. But I, like I said before, I'm still unpacking and I'm actually pretty sure I'm all out of my adhesive roller so I really need to get more. So all I could find at the time of making this card was this Scotch double-sided tape. And I didn't double check on the packaging but I'm not a fan only because this is either removable tape or it's just not that great of tape because after so I made these and then about two days later it was time to give them to our mothers and they were already kind of coming up. So I definitely don't, did not like this particular adhesive, but again it wasn't the it wasn't my normal adhesive either. It's just what I had on hand. And then for this one I grabbed just a craft um, like a craft stick of glue and and it worked out fine the, the glue works out fine but I do prefer an adhesive roller so there you have the first Mother's Day card and again you can't really see the pop out too much but you can tell there's a little bit there I really like it it was really simple pretty straightforward I just need to figure out my measurements more exact and that will make that part go a lot faster next time um, but I was pleased and this one was the one I made from my mom so we did write in it. I had the kids draw some pictures in it and she loved it. So it turned out well. And you don't have to do this for Mother's Day. That's what I meant to say as well. Obviously this approach to making a card could be done for any type of occasion. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the second card. And so this one I was going to have to do in more of a landscape horizontal layout um, because of the types of stickers that I planned on using and the fact that I had already cut my card. Um, and so I knew that I was gonna put the image on the left side and so I wanted to write Happy Mother's Day on the right side. And so I laid out these um, washi tape on my mat to help me kind of line up and try to keep my writing off to the right hand side. Um, it worked well, but you will see here in a little bit, I kind of made a little boo-boo and ended up at the very end kind of undoing all of this and doing it a different way. But I still wanted to show this to you because this is just my process. So you'll see I pulled out my Jane Davenport, Jane Davenport mermaid ma markers, and that's what I wanted to try to write with. And I always kind of practice on a different piece of paper before I do it on my actual card if possible so that's what you saw me doing there and here I am just writing happy mother's day making sure it's all lined up and I can't recall off the top of my head what color that was um, but again I'll try to pop it in if I can get it looked up so this one I was wanting to add a little extra something to it but I, I did it on the scrap paper and it didn't really do what I was hoping it would do, so I ended up not using that. And then this, again, I felt like it was just very plain. So this is just some of that um, alcohol ink mixed with water in a spray bottle. And so I just sprayed it on the paper, and it really gave me a nice effect that I liked. Um, but you'll see here in a minute where the mistake was that I made. <laughs> so this is a purple... Um, wink of Stella marker which I went through and added to the writing and I really loved how this helped it stand out more um, so I was pleased with how this looked and I just went over all of it at first I thought about just doing the word mothers 
but then I went over all of it. And here's my boo-boo. So I sprayed that stuff while the stickers, my washi tape was on there. And so it left a blank space where I didn't get it sprayed. So I tried spraying more on there, as you can see. But it really just turned out to be too much in the end. And you'll see that at the very end, I end up just redoing it, like starting from scratch. But I was trying. I was trying to make it work. I just couldn't get it to to not show those lines underneath where I had left the washi tape. So now I'm going to start cutting out. So I know what sticker I'm going to use. And so now I'm just going to trim out just like I did before. Okay, so here is when I went to put on the foam, but I'm afraid the camera cut out and so you don't really get to see me do it. But again, I did double up on the foam for this one and it turned out a lot better. And so here I am starting from scratch. I'm just going to recut out a, um, some of this ivory paper to redo where I want to place my sticker. Um, again, I got a little, my pen had too much ink in it, so it kind of splattered everywhere. But this time I was just going to go with it and so I added more splatters just to kind of make it fit in. <laughs> and I still like the way the, the spritzer looked, so I went ahead and did just a few light sprays on that so I didn't completely soak my paper. And then I still love the way the Wink of Stella purple marker looked, so I went ahead and added that back in as well. And now it's time for the fun part, putting on the stickers. <laughs> so this one I had already put the foam, um, the layer on top of it for the 3D effect, so that was already there. And then again, I'm using my scotch tape to actually adhere this panel to the card base. And I thought it turned out great. So there's a little close-up for you. Hopefully you can see that these actually pop off the page a lot better than the other ones did. So again, I highly recommend pretty thick foam. And I will say I really enjoy using black foam. I had never seen it before, the black um, foam adhesive. And normally it's just white. So that I thought was kind of neat because it actually kind of, to me, hides a little better, conceals a little better than the white does. And so there's both cards side by side. And again, there they are. I loved it. I thought it turned out really well. So I'll try to link everything down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will get in here and add any of the details that needed to be added before I ha have this uploaded for you. And if you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. We'd love you to be part of the family. Take care. Bye.